Okay, I'm really happy today because I've come across one of my favourite things to come across in the entire world, and that is uh, a Harry and Meghan joint acceptance speech that I haven't seen before. I think it's only recently come to light in the last couple of days, uh, but it was filmed a couple of years ago, so that's very strange. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. This is one of the best things you've ever seen. <laughs> Daniel Bolland, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? Okay, so a bit of the backstory here. It says, uh, filmed two years ago, this footage was initially recorded for the couple's acceptance speech at the 2022 Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking uh, the, the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. How did this not make a bigger splash at the time, right? I mean, this is the kind of award that is every ribbon-cutting grip Rifters, uh, biggest dream, the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. It's got everything, hasn't it? I mean, it's got the, the, the buzzwords like Ripple of Hope. Uh, it's got human rights, which I don't think it's controversial to say we all enjoy. And then you attach it to somebody who everyone kind of remembers. Was He was good, wasn't he? Robert F. Kennedy. It's like if somebody uh, nominated you for the, uh, I don't know, the, the, the Nelson Mandela Anti-Slavery Happiness and Rainbows Award. You would think people like Harry and Meghan who live for these things would just want everyone to know that they were for happiness and rainbows and against slavery. Thank you, Kerry and Ethel, and everybody from RFK Human Rights for this distinguished honor. Another one. Your trophy cabinet must be overflowing at this point, Harry, with all the things you keep winning. I'm a living legend of aviation. Oh, and I won this at the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. Oh, this old thing, I won a bronze medal at the Mahatma Gandhi Water Sanitation River of Shit Awards. It's humbling to be recognised among such an illustrious group of icons, trailblazers and advocates. <laughs> I love the word trailblazer, because when you think of trailblazing, it's like this, ooh, this force of nature leaving fire in their wake. Oh, the trail's all ablaze. And it's always used for people who've never blazed a trail, right? They're, they're, they're these fucking ribbon-cutting advocates who set up charities or whatever just to because they're bored, you know. There's nothing trailblazing about that. There isn't fucking fire everywhere. There's no blaze. An illustrious group of icons, trailblazers and advocates, both past and present, including President Zelensky, whose fearless leadership this year has firmly cemented his place in the history books of tomorrow. Oh, they really did film this in 2022, didn't they? Who the hell's Zelensky, eh? Everyone's forgotten about him. <laughs> and don't come at me for making light of a uh, serious situation. The problem is you people who are also fucking fickle about really heavy topics. Yeah? I think we should send the Ukrainians some F-16s. <laughs> You know, with your flags in the bios and everything, and then you forget about it six months later. Oh, oh did that ever... Oh, oh, it's worse than it ever was. Ah, oh, I'll put it back in the bio. Okay. It'll all blow over. If the Ukrainians lose, it's the end of civilization as we know it. You're all like Jez from Peep Show. Basically, I've been bored ever since 9-11. And of course, Bill Russell, who may no longer be with us, but leaves a remarkable legacy in the advancement of civil rights. Now, hear me out with this one. Do you think that Bill Russell, now that he's dead, and he's looking down at us from heaven, or up at us from hell, I just wonder sometimes if people would really want to be remembered for advancing civil rights. Or the fact that he was a five-time MVP, an NBA Hall of Famer. I'm just saying, I mean, who hasn't advanced civil rights? I did that this morning. Whereas uh, winning 13 NBA championships, I don't think, uh, I think that ship sailed. The enduring dream of Robert F. Kennedy. Oh, Megan's taken over. How did it get so dark so fast? The enduring dream of Robert F. Kennedy, of a just and peaceful world, is so much more than a simple hope. So much more than a simple hope. Sod off, Bobby Kennedy. Still trying to win the Miss Universe pageant from beyond the grave, are we? Well, I ain't buying it. Hey, that's a new uh, direction this channel could take. Uh, speaking ill of the dead. I've already gone after a few today, haven't I? We're Bobby Kennedy, Bill Russell, Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi. Wait till you see my next video, a snidey takedown of former President Woodrow Wilson. League of Nations, cringe. Couldn't even handle the Vilna crisis. It's a direct ask, an explicit challenge, a call to action, a test of individual courage and collective spirit. Collective spirit. Harry has about as much collective spirit as the 
Paris Peace Conference. And at the Paris Peace Conference, you'd be Georges Clemenceau, wouldn't you, Harry? You don't care about world peace. All you want to do is punish Germany and take back Alsace-Lorraine, you embittered old frog. Georges Clemenceau, the French. Ah, the French. I'm on a roll tonight. And his appeal to humanity is as relevant today as it was in 1966 when he stood before the University of Cape Town, a place we've visited and hold close to our hearts. And he delivered a vision for the common good of society. So now uh, it's relayed back to Harry. He takes the baton and he runs. And uh, pay close attention to Harry's hand gestures. I love Harry's hand gestures. Hands are really important when you're speaking. They can be, hands can be your friend or they can be a foe. God, I can just hear you all now typing in the comments. Danny, you're so insightful. Hands can be your friend or your foe. I want to put that on a t-shirt. Don't do it then, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Bobby Kennedy said, each time a man stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope. Now, this is the kind of deep dive analysis that you just don't get on other channels. Okay, so focus. Initially, you look at Harry's hand here and you say it's open palm facing sort of upwards and outwards in a beta cook kind of uh, way. However, as his arms start to oscillate, uh, we notice that he is in fact uh, in an aggressive stance as the two fingers here, the index and the middle finger, are raised and uh, the, we, along with the, the uh, opposable uh, thumb, they form a sort of talon which has a vice-like grip which he uses to tear apart carrion and the like. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus, Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus, Tyrannosaurus. And he also said, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. Yes, woe betide any man who tries to resist Harry's ripples of hope. A fool's errand if ever there were one, anyone who tries to resist this human tidal wave of great expectations. And as we all face a complex and challenging time in the world, we choose a path of optimism, of care for each other and our communities. And we understand this honor is not about the culmination of a life's work, but instead, and in many ways for us, a beginning. Finally, we're deeply excited to announce that Archwell Foundation and RFK Human Rights are partnering on a new initiative. That is deeply exciting to give young people a chance to be storytellers for human rights. This is really deeply exciting because, I mean, this was filmed two years ago, so I'm assuming now they've got a whole backlog of children telling stories for human rights, which I can't wait to get into. I wonder what the, all the amazing stories that these kids have told for, for human rights. It's, I, you know, does anyone have a link? Our new award will be given to students who create films focused on defenders of women's rights and whose stories challenge some of the very archetypes. Oh, <laughs> the bittersweet uh, hearing Megan uh, say archetypes again. It's been so long. And look at her little face as though the whole world gets the joke. Archetypes. <laughs> challenge some of the very archetypes that continue to try to hold women back today. It's called the Archwell Foundation Award for Gender Equity in Student Film. Do you think it'd be better if I did blackface? A springboard for creativity and activism. My favorite kind of springboard. A place for them to come together through young leadership. We leave you tonight with parting words from Bobby Kennedy. Ah! We leave you tonight with parting words from Bobby Kennedy that have resonated with both of us. Few will have the greatness to bend history, but each of us can work to change a small portion of the events. And in the total of all these acts will be written the history of this generation. Thank you. Thank you. 
No, no. Thank you, guys. That was as amazing as ever. How have they kept that away from us for over a year? Damn you, Internet, eh? Uh, anyway, um, about halfway through making this video, I got the news about Prince... Uh, sorry, force of habit. Uh, King Charles uh, and his cancer diagnosis. So obviously, um, uh, yeah, uh, wish him a speedy recovery. And... Uh, uh, who knows? Maybe Harry could recuperate some kind of normalcy. You never know. Uh, people show different sides to their character in times of crisis, don't they? And, um, well, who knows how this has affected Harry? So why can't we show a little bit of uh, empathy towards him as well? Um, it, it, you know, after all, it is his father, isn't it? And um, who knows what he's thinking about all this. Perhaps he's regretting what's gone on over the last few years, and, um, and um, I don't know, who knows, who knows what could, uh, what could happen over the next few days, maybe they, maybe they will be brought closer together uh, by a bit of a, a good old crisis, uh, I don't know, who knows, what do you think, let me know in the comments, uh, I'll see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have you subscribed? Have you given the video a like? Have you given a comment? Have you shared this everywhere? If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing. Bye. And if you want to help support the channel further, then you can go and check out my Patreon page where I'm putting up exclusive videos that I can't really put up on YouTube because of the content. And, uh, well, we've got a couple of videos up there already, a couple more in the pipeline coming out this week. So go and check that out. The link is in the description. Thanks.